Hello. Germany is known for its fascination with engineering technology and cool gadgets of all varieties. Today, I want to give you an overview of one of the country's most cutting edge and lucrative business sectors, unmanned aerial vehicles, better known as drones. Drones are very popular as toys for boys who never really grew up. But those who know the industry know there's much more to them than just that. Aerial footage is literally changing the way we see the world. Currently, 35% of all drone users make film, television and video. It's a relatively inexpensive way to get spectacular images. These were taken by Skynamic, which operates in Berlin, Frankfurt and Barcelona. Drones can go pretty much anywhere the human imagination can. Unmanned aircraft make surveying, mapping and monitoring more precise and economical. And UAVs are ideal for deliveries of everything from products ordered online to crucial medical supplies. Wingcopter from the western German city of Darmstadt, for example, has partnered with logistics giant UPS. It also recently successfully delivered COVID-19 tests to an island off the west coast of Scotland. The company also won a World Bank-sponsored drone challenge in Rwanda. The German UAV market is the world's fourth largest and is projected to rise from its current 574 million to nearly 3 billion euros by 2030. That represents an annual growth rate of 14%. Some 4,000 companies and 10,000 employees already work in the sector. Over the course of the last years, it has become obvious that uh, international investors have shifted their attention to what we call at Germany Trade and Invest New Aviation. The given challenges are pretty much obvious. In order to maximize a concept of dependability, you need to cope with aspects like reliability, safety or availability. And that's exactly where German engineering comes into play. You need solutions for highly sophisticated markets and not for, for mass applications. And that's what Made in Germany stands for. And uh, we have noticed in, in the past years that uh, a lot of companies or startups, international startups, came to Germany to be part of that community. It's no wonder that international companies are setting up shop in Germany. US company Joby Aviation, fresh off a nearly $600 million cash infusion from Toyota, has established a subsidiary in Germany's aerospace capital Munich. The company is currently working on an electric, vertical takeoff and landing aircraft capable of carrying passengers. Its futuristic design has been described as a cross between a drone and an air taxi. We have a base here in Germany because we recognize the strength of the engineering history and the quality of the people that work here. So we're looking for companies that can help us manufacture and design parts, companies that work with us on production, and companies that are involved in the next stage of technology, whether that's batteries or materials that will help take this technology to the next level. We plan to certify our aircraft for public operations in 2023, which means that we would start operating a service for customers in 2024. From there, we would intend to scale internationally, maybe even globally. But not all the companies getting involved make drones. One crucial market area is the infrastructure needed as more and more drones take to the skies. Eva from Portugal specializes in loading and control stations and mission planning hubs for deliveries, last mile and longer. They ensure that drones get to their intended destination smoothly and efficiently. In the past, Eva has worked with companies like Boston Dynamics from the US and Switzerland's Rigitech. The focus is on hardware and, in future, software. Eva has just expanded to the eastern German state of Brandenburg, not far from the new Berlin airport and the Tesla Gigafactory being built outside the German capital. It's buzzing and that's really accelerating what's happening. You can really tell how much innovative capacity um, is in the area and uh, we love to be a part of it. We are well aware that drones have a fantastic capacity to really drive down costs when it comes to transporting goods and hopefully in the long run also people. We just want to make sure that all these drone operators, that they have the right tools at their hands in order to build successful missions and, uh, and this is why we build drone infrastructure at EVA. 
The German government is throwing its weight behind the sector. A national testing center for unmanned civilian aviation systems is set to open in the eastern town of Kochstedt. And not coincidentally, Germany's National Aerospace Coordinator Thomas Jatzombeck is also the government's digital economy and startup commissioner. Germany Trade and Invest helped Joby and Eva set up shop in Germany. And we can do the same for you. We help you with public grant schemes, and in particular, we will help you if you are a startup company. Secondly, we will hook you up with uh, the existing communities. These are universities, these are cluster structures, and of course, these are companies that make up a state of the art in your technology. As a government agency, our services are free, and you can arrange a consultation at gtai.com. And please hit the like button. If this video gave you some useful information about a market where the sky truly is not the limit.